yeah, I'm pissed. It's not going to be one of them joyous Hollywood type of deals today, especially with what we got coming up. District attorneys, police officers, I get you think some bikers or some motorcyclists are lower than dirt. You think we're the scum of the earth. I get it. It's obvious because when somebody gets in an accident, you only, or I wouldn't even call it an accident. I would have to say when somebody kills a biker or motorcyclist on purpose, they get, say, six years like the guy who intentionally killed a biker for giving him the finger. You gave him six years in prison for doing that. You pleaded it down. It's sickening. But nothing more sickening that I'm about to talk about. Now, I even know some citizens think bikers are nothing but organ donors. I get it. People don't like bikers, motorcyclists, some people. I'm not saying all. But when I see something I'm about to show you, it's absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. And we are wondering what you're going to do about it. Are you going to give this broad six years? Here we go. And this is from Biker Dad. I really like Biker Dad. He has a YouTube channel. We're going to get his thoughts on this one. We're going to interview him on Independent Riders. But he's a really good reporter. A professional, really good reporter. Deadly Hit and Run, and this is his uh, blog, by the way, tvbikerdad.com. Woman's DL was 10 years expired when she killed a biker while high, high on drugs. There's the picture of the old Wicked Witch of the West. Columbia, Missouri, say a woman was arrested after she killed a biker while high on drugs. She also took off and drove home, leaving the motorcycle rider to die. Didn't even have the courtesy to call 911 before hightailing it off. Police arrested Susan Hannell, 72. Your family must be so proud. Her driver's license was expired for more than 10 years, but she was still driving. Police say she made a left turn on a dark street and wasn't running her headlights. Wasn't running her headlights. As a result, 25-year-old biker, a 25-year-old kid, hit her car and died 25 years old KOMU TV reports she was officially charged with driving while impaired resulting in death leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death and armed criminal action The probable cause statement, officers did a DWI investigation, unsteady on her feet, unable to keep her head up, fell, and officers had a catcher, taken methadone, methadone, and volume, unaware she was in a crash and a suspended license for 10 years. Here's Skyler, 25-year-old. He was driving his Kawasaki Ninja south on Providence Road when Hanel failed to yield while making a left turn. She then entered his path. Had a lot of life right there. A lot of life ahead of him. 
dies at 25 years old, he's going to be missing out on kids, grandkids, a successful career. He won't even have the experience of being in a woman anymore. Why? Because of some trash like that. Some trash like that. I wonder how the family, like I said earlier, feels about this woman. How old was she again? What was it? 70 something years old? Yeah, 72. 72 years old. Oh, what a life you got to live while you killed the 25 year old kid. Here's what Chris has to say about it. Again, he is new on YouTube. Make sure you go over and subscribe to his stuff. Here we go. Good morning. This is the Biker Dad blogger, Chris Best. Just checking in on some news out of Missouri. Something that just really pisses me off this morning. Um, got up and read the story about a 25-year-old biker named Skylar Maddox who was riding his bike the other day in Columbia, Missouri. I'm from Missouri. I went to Mizzou and uh, in that very town on Providence Road, which is a really busy street there in Columbia, right near the university. Police say this 72-year-old woman, and I'm not even going to say the piece of garbage is his name, but you can read it in the link, um, made a left-hand turn in front of him. It was dark. She didn't have his, her lights on. Unbelievable. And that's not even the worst part of it. This young man, his life taken away in an instant. The woman hadn't had her license renewed in 10 years, a decade driving around with no driver's license. On top of that, she told police that she was on methadone and Valium. So she takes a left-hand turn in the dark in front of this biker with no lights on. Does she stop and help? No. The piece of garbage drives off and goes home and leaves him in the street to die and leaves his family left to mourn. Um, you can read all about it on the Biker Dad blog, tvbikerdad.com. It is tvbikerdad.com Are you sick and tired of this happening? Where it always seems like a district attorney cuts a deal just to get it off of his docket. These are human beings. You might not like what they are. You might not like what they do. You might not like they ride a motorcycle. But at least, at least, treat them the same like the law is supposed to be treated. Six years for killing somebody because they gave you a finger. Now you have something like this. And I can guarantee you, I'll keep it in the news. Hopefully others keep it in the news. And I don't care if she is 72 years old. I don't care if she's a great, great grandmother. Let her spend the rest of her life in jail. This kid won't be able to do anything. Because he's dead. Six feet under. Because of this broad. Who is on methadone. Driving without any lights on. And had her license suspended for more than a decade. Because of her choice. Her choice. Killed them. So let her sit in prison. And die there. Don't go and make a deal. Oh, she's elderly. Her health. She made a mistake. No, uh-uh. That don't fly anymore. Maybe this issue should be on the top of the list for the MRFs. You need to get these biker rights organizations in gear. And I get motorcycle profiling's a big deal. But something like this can't keep on going on. 
you can't accept these prison terms for these drunk drivers running over motorcyclists. Then we had another one the other day where Jeep guy, drunk driver, ran into the kid. Oh, is it going to take one of your DA's family members to get in a motorcycle accident before you say, hey, this isn't right? You should be spending 25 to life in there because you chose to drink or you chose to take drugs and you couldn't drive and you kill the motorcyclist. It always seems like the ones that are drunk or high popped up are the ones that never get hurt. But they're the ones that destroy an entire life and their family members. I really do. I think Abate, I think MRF, somebody needs to start a national campaign to get some laws passed where there's at least mandatory minimums. Where a prosecutor can't work a deal for six years because this guy couldn't take the finger, which he probably got the finger because he was driving like the idiot. There has to be something that could be worked out with the biker rights organizations. What do you guys think about this? And you get so sick and tired of hearing from these type of people how hard they had it. Oh, I had it hard all my life. Or I had a bad childhood. Who cares? Throw up. Life owes you nothing. That doesn't mean it gives you the right to go get hopped up on methadone. And go kill somebody. A hell with them excuses. 25 years old. Enough's enough of this. It really is. We got biker rights organizations. Get your asses out there. And uh, you know what? I get it. Autonomous vehicles. I get it. They're the future. But can you guys at least put somebody on this subject? Something that's been going on for years and years? That's biker rights there. That's fighting for the victim's families. Because we all know how dangerous riding a bike is. We get it. We accept that. What you can't accept is another idiot out there drunk or on freaking drugs that kills you you can't accept that so each state abates in or any other motorcycle rights organizations in appoint somebody to freaking get this addressed that's what everybody sends their dues in for to support you i get it it's hard work not taking that away but at the same time, this should be at the top of your list. And pardon my French, fuck autonomous vehicles. This is more important. Seeing a 25-year-old and then there was another 20-something-year-old get killed and these people ain't handing down sentences like they should be, that's what you're there for. Get in there and get into the reps and say, introduce a damn bill to stop this crap. Put mandatories up. Something. What do you guys think? This is, this is something that shouldn't happen. You kill somebody, bye-bye. You were drunk, don't give me your damn excuses, and I don't want to hear about your health. If you cared about your health, you wouldn't have been on methadone. You wouldn't have been hopped up on volume. And you sure to hell wouldn't be driving. Maybe that's why they took your license away in the first place. I don't know.
Anyway, we're going to go over to the second half of the show over on Spotify and all that good stuff. You to listen to it there. We go a long time now on the podcast. I'm going live with China Dow on the Morning Hoot. Download the Insane Throttle Radio app on Google Play. We are working on iOS right now. And of course, Roku and Fire TV, man. Get it on there. I'll talk to you guys later. To the extent that pending criminal matters are discussed on this website or YouTube channel, all such charges are merely accusations and all defendants are presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty in a court of law.